My name is Will Schusterink. I'm out here at Crockett Park in Brentwood, Tennessee, and I'll give you guys a couple driving tips today. The first thing that I want to show you guys is the way that I grip my drives, and whether it's a putter, a mid-range, or a driver off the tee, over 300 feet, I grip everything with a power grip, and I put all my four fingers up underneath the rim with my thumb on the outside of the disc about an inch, maybe an inch and a half away from the rim. One thing that I see a lot of people do is not use their full upper body when throwing a drive. I see a lot of people reach back and really keep compact with their right shoulder coming into their left shoulder and sometimes that makes you grab the disc with two hands. One thing that will really help you not do that anymore will be use your left shoulder and reach all the way back, not just with not just reaching back, but using your full upper body and turning it backwards and mirroring your left shoulder with your right shoulder so it does not get in the way from you reaching back. When you use your full upper body and you're reaching all of the way back, your eyes will be taken off the target just for a split second and that's okay. As long as you learn your release points, your disc will come out perfect. Once you have your reach back down, another tip to get more distance would be where you're pulling the disc through your body from. So once you reach all the way back and extend your arm, I see a lot of people go from here and they try to pull through their chest. And when you try to, when you try to pull through your chest, you don't use any of your muscles on your arm or your body at all. The best thing to do would be to crouch over just a little bit and come through your core area and really pull through and use the back part of your arm. One way to really see what I'm talking about is reach back and grab onto something or someone and pull forward and you can feel all the muscles in your arm and how you should be throwing a drive. One thing that you wanna stay away from is when you're pulling through, you don't come away from your body. And you don't, when you come through your core, you're using all of your muscles right here and your forearm but when you're coming away from your body, there's no type of muscles being used and it's a lot of wrist. So when you pull through, make sure you're coming close to your body, leading with your elbow, instead of coming around and away from your body. Keep it close. One of the ways that I practice driving is going to an open field and throwing in a standstill stance. What I do is I reach all the way back and then pull through over and over and over again and I'll throw 50 to 100 shots, as many as I can, only in a standstill stance. What I'll do is I'll lean all the way back and have all of my weight on my left foot and then just pull through. So I'll do that as many times as I can until my arm falls off. No, I don't do that. When you're using a standstill motion to practice distance, you're really working on your lower body. And by working on your lower body, you're working on the weight shift by putting all your weight on your back leg and then shifting it forward into your right leg. Instead of putting all your weight back here and then opening up your hips. By shifting your hips, you're using all the power generated in this leg and all of your body weight. But if you open them up, there's no type of shift involved at all. One way to improve your accuracy on distant shots, or any shot for that matter, would be your follow through. And by follow through, I mean finishing your arm in the same way that you wanted to throw the disc. One thing that I see a lot of people do when they first start playing disc golf is they throw the disc really high in the air. And that's mostly has to do with finishing your arm up in the air. So when you reach back starting the throw and you're pulling through, Instead of finishing up high, think of finishing below or at your shoulder length. That way the disc has no choice but to go straight and low. One way to improve your follow through is to just let your body weight or your counterweight pick your head up after you throw. 
So when you reach back and you come through, your back shoulder will lift your head up towards the target. You want to keep your head down the entire way through your throw. You don't want to be watching where it's going because you'll, you'll limit yourself on your reach back. So make sure you reach all the way back and when you pull through, have that back shoulder pick up your head. My name is Will Schustrick. I didn't even say my name right. The first thing that I want to show you guys. <laughs> I, I wouldn't play for a second. When you use your full upper body, you won't be able to keep your eye on the basket the entire time. And that's okay. <laughs> no, I can't do that. <laughs>